So for those of you who didn't see, there was a couple in St. Louis that had their gated home broken into the property of their home by Black Lives Matter protesters. Allegedly, the protesters were threatening to kill them and their dog. They called the police, called security. No one showed up. So they were forced to arm themselves to protect their community. I had told you for months that what was going to happen was they're trying to take away the police from you. They're trying to take away the National Guard and military to protect you. And they're trying to take away your way to protect yourself. And I said, the irony is those of us that have stood up for the police against calls to abolish them because they are controlled in these cities by Democrats that really want to attack their political opponents. These police will crack down harder on you than they will the actual rioters and people threatening your life. And that's exactly what we're seeing in this situation in St. Louis, where now it appears that there will be some sort of investigation, including one of the attorney generals in St. Louis said that they are going to be looking in at possible assault charges for these people for protecting their property. Make no mistake about it. This is what they want. They want to push you into an alley where you have to defend yourself and then say, see, you're the bad guy. This is just like the NPR story where they said, look at this car running over protesters. It's a white supremacist running over peaceful protesters. Only what we really saw was that it was a black woman who someone pulled a gun on their car while they surrounded it and she was forced to drive away. Just yesterday in Utah, we saw another example where protesters surrounded a car, the car nudged forward trying to get through them, and they drew a gun and started firing on the car. This is exactly what these protesters and the people running them want. They want to be able to kill you with impunity. The Democrats want you disarmed. They want the police gone for you. They'll keep their private security. They'll keep their autonomous zones with armed guards, but you should be completely unprotected, and then they'll censor you like we already see happening so you can't speak or defend yourself. This is a civil war that is being engaged by these establishment people.